day today will be the chance for a few isolated showers, but these will kind of fizzle out once we get towards sunset tonight and for tomorrow we'll see a good deal of sunshine, a mostly sunny sky. Here's a look at the tropics. We have what's left of Danielle, just big area, low pressure in the northern Atlantic. That's going to head over towards France, Portugal and Spain. Two tropical waves out in the Atlantic. This one in the central Atlantic. This one's the stronger of the two so that uh, bears some watching. And then here's Hurricane Earl. If any of those in the Atlantic get named, the next two names on the list are Fiona and Gaston. Uh, looks like Fiona, that may be the one that's in the central Atlantic over the next couple days. Here's Earl, a uh, little bit just south of Bermuda right now. It is tracking towards the north, northeast, 105 mile an hour winds. It's kind of slated to get a lot stronger over the next couple days, a category four hurricane. It's going to buzz right to the east of Bermuda, but again, it's going to throw in those swells towards the east coast. That's the reason why we're going to have that coastal flooding issues. Here's a look at our seven day forecast 82 for today, 62 tonight with 50s north and west on Friday, high of 84. We had the speak up 5K on Saturday and we'll be dry here during the day. There will be a few showers here in western and southwestern Virginia on Sunday, though, there'll be a better chance of a few showers off and on during the day. So we actually have our chance of rain on Sunday up to about 60% high of 80 degrees. Then we'll be in the low to mid 80s for the first half of next week with a few scatter storms left over into Monday and Tuesday.